Yeah, that 14 year old just got LeBron James screaming. And he's been doing this. And this. But who is he? His name is Mikey Williams and he's been called the best 14 year old on the planet. Now he's 15 in his freshman year of high school and he's been all over social media. The question is, how good is he actually? What is up dudes, see that's ballers players, it's your boy MJ. Mikey Williams was LeBron James Jr. AU teammate and he was actually the best player on the team. Y'all really liked the LaMelo Ball video so I want to break down another hyped up player. And there is a lot of hype around Mikey. So much so that he's already being thought of as the number one pick in the 2024 draft. While that's a pretty long way from now, I've just been seeing this guy pop up everywhere and so I was wondering how good is he actually and is he more than just a flashy dunker? I dropped a 250k giveaway in my last video so check it out if you missed it. Drop a like for the amount of reactions LeBron has on the sidelines every game. 5,323. I'm streaming later tonight on the second channel cause 2k released a Kobe card and uh... I need it! And to the 87% that watch my videos that still aren't subscribed, Come on man, Mikey Williams is 15. Let's get that percentage to 15. So, please subscribe. Mikey Williams is attending San Ysidro High School and they just beat a team 108 to 28. Yeah, by 80. <laughs> He's now 6'3", 175 pounds, which means he's already a good guard height. San Ysidro High School isn't some legendary high school like Oak Hill, Sierra Canyon, or Mara Day, but they have been on the up and up with young talent. Mikey Williams will be their centerpiece. Not many people knew about Mikey until he started playing AU with Brawny. Mikey jumped from 2,000 followers to over 250,000 on Instagram in the span of that one summer, and now is at almost one million followers. A lot of them were there for his crazy dunking. I tried to find his exact vertical but there wasn't a specific number. But if he's jumping over a 6 foot dude and dunking on 7 footers, it has to be near 40 inches which is just insane for a 14 year old. He's continuing to grow as well. Remember Lamelo was 6'2 in his sophomore year and now he's 6'7. Obviously Mikey Williams is an amazing dunker period. But that's not all to his game. Apart from just his raw athleticism, Mikey Williams is actually a great guard. What I mean by that is that he has effective handles. They aren't razzle dazzle like Lamello's or excessive like this. Dang it, Julian Newman. <laughs> But he has good control over the ball. He keeps the ball close to his body and makes the move. He has almost every move in his back, crossover between the legs, behind the back, spin move from both hands, and they're just tight handles. They're also just very quick moves. If he doesn't see an opening, he gets rid of the ball which keeps the ball moving. Actually for a guard, he doesn't keep the ball in his hands for a whole lot. This means the offense is installing and it keeps everyone involved. This happens when Mikey is playing the point guard or a shooting guard. He's also good at being a floor general, directing players and traffic. This isn't something normal for someone his age, especially when he's miles ahead of the competition. When you're that talented, usually you can take the ball and score every time without a problem, but Mikey understands team dynamics. Now what I don't see him doing are driving kicks. Mikey naturally draws a lot of attention once he gets in the paint, but he doesn't really dish it off. It's like he has tunnel vision when he's starts driving. This can be worked on as the level of competition increases and he has the ability to make these passes but he just hasn't shown the vision yet. With that dunking ability also comes a pretty good finishing ability. He's able to power his way through contact and stay concentrated enough to hit the shot. He's also really good at using his body to shield the ball away from the defender. Combine that with his concentration and he's able to finish without even changing his layup. Still he's acrobatic in the air and and he's able to adjust his shot however he needs. He has nice spin layup footwork, and so once again, he's way ahead of the competition. But he 
doesn't use his left. I'm not sure whether it's because he's not confident in his left hand finishing ability or whether he's just never been forced to use his left hand, but Mikey doesn't use his left. Even his dunks are all with the right hand. It's so similar to how Zion predominantly uses his left hand without really using his right. Now Mikey can drive either way so his attacking options aren't limited and he can dribble with both hands, but as competition increases, he's gonna need to use his other hand for finishes. Otherwise, defenses will just stay on his right hand when he's shooting or going for a layup. That is also something to consider. Mikey hasn't faced defenses that are geared to stopping him. Yeah, he's faced overzealous defenders and Mikey's destroyed them. <laughs> but no team defenses have schemes to stop specifically him. So yeah, his finishing and dunking are elite, but surprisingly, that might not even be his best trait. Yeah, that's something you can't teach, and so that ability is probably his most valuable ability, but perhaps his best skill right now is his shooting. Let me rephrase that, it's more that Mikey seems to shoot more outside shots than layups, and he is an elite shooter. Mikey actually has a very smooth look jump shot. His legs bend and then extend in sync with his upper body. He holds his follow through at the top and the ball has good rotation. It's definitely a shot that Mikey has put a lot of work in. He's consistent and his form doesn't break even with defenses right in his face. His legs are very similar to how Kevin Durant bends his knees inward to shoot. His release is also moderately quick. He creates a decent amount of separation from his step backs because Mikey's got some strong legs and so his step backs are quick and wide. He doesn't jump too high, which means he's not relying on his legs on catch and shoots. However, when he's off dribble and with defense in front of him, he uses his vertical leap ability with the same release. Even his catch and shoot abilities are far above the rest. He spaces out the floor and steps into his shot shooting in rhythm. I also see him shooting with some NBA range. This isn't all the time, but if he finds himself open, Mikey won't hesitate to shoot. He'll even bring the ball down and and pull it from deep. Even with this shooting ability, he doesn't shoot a crazy amount of times. Don't get me wrong, Mikey has a quick trigger, but he's not jacking up contested shots like another 15 year old in the past. On the defensive side of things, Mikey is mean. Yeah, his leaping ability is spectacular, so you would think that he could contest shots, and you're absolutely right. But there's a little more to it than just that. Mikey has good timing for blocking shots. He adjusts his pace to cleanly block shots without fouling, and he really does get into on defense, which is something you don't see in middle school, heck even high school. There have been only a few prospects like Nasir Little that made a name as a lockdown defender in high school. But Mikey brings calmness and energy. I know that seems contradicting, so let me explain. Mikey Williams is a bit flamboyant, but in a good way. He'll stare into your soul after dunking it. He'll point at you after he's dropped you. There's a certain dog in him and he doesn't back down. He's intense. Mikey is trying to destroy you. He'll trash talk and back that up. He's not always trash talking though. Some more important games, he's kind of dialed it back and just zoned in on the game more. And that type of energy is contagious. LeBron definitely felt that. And like Zion, if his teammate makes an exciting play, Mikey is there hyping them up too. Now this isn't some skill that you can teach, it's part of his personality and intangible that every NBA team would love to have. He also has that Donovan Mitchell effect when he dunks the ball because everyone goes crazy and gets even more energy while demoralizing his opponent. I think a part of why Mikey is so confident is because he's always in the gym. His dad is very involved in Mikey's training and he's not a media loudmouth. Something is wrong with you! Yes! His dad also helps train Big Jaw, the 7 foot 15 year old and so Mikey really is playing with different competition. Before teaming up with LeBron James Jr, he played against him and so what we have seen so so far can actually be assessed as real competition. There is a maturity in Mikey that isn't common for 15 year olds of his stature. He's been in the spotlight since he was 13, called the best 14 year old, he's even been compared to LeBron James. But Mikey handles it with professionalism. He doesn't go out and say outlandish things and he wants to play for UCLA and become a marine biologist, you know after the whole basketball thing. His favorite player of all time and inspiration is LeBron and so Mikey has said that 
he admires LeBron's approach to how he makes his teammates better and how he carries himself on and off the court. That makes sense because Mikey seems to emulate that part of LeBron. This coupled with his work ethic are all just intangibles that you hope every player has. Those foundations let a player continue to get better and Mikey Williams seems to have it. That's the best way to summarize Mikey Williams. He has the it factor. He has vertical ability that you can't teach, a sense of being a floor general that you can't teach, work ethic that you can't teach. Apart from that, he's honed his shooting ability, finishes with a lot of moves, and continues to improve defensively. He just played his first high school basketball game and dominated. So how good is Mikey Williams? It's like he's already a pro. It's only a matter of time before he becomes a force in the league. But what do you think? Will Mikey Williams be the number one pick? Is Mikey Williams really the best 15 year old in the nation? Drop a like if you like LeBron James reactions cuz I'm all for it. Check out the 250k giveaway if you missed my last video. I'm streaming tonight on my second channel cuz we are getting that Kobe. And if you're still here, thank you for all the support. So comment these stairs so I know you're a real one. The Instagram shout out of the day goes to the great J. Thank you for the voice recording and the all day note of the King shout out goes to 7am zip. Thanks for the all day support. Make sure to the bell for all the notifications and if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button to join the all day community for more fire content all day support. It's your boy MJ. We out.